Hello everybody and welcome to another one of those Quick Dwarf Fortress tutorials. In this video we're going to be covering digging through a light aquifer. Aquifers are actually very useful and there's something that you kind of want to have on your map, especially if you want to have access to water while underground without digging down to the cavern layers. At the same time they can also be really annoying and a lot of people shy away from playing with them entirely just due to them causing general issues with playing uh, and actually digging. So we're going to run through some quick techniques to get through aquifers. Keep in mind there are also heavy aquifers which we're not going to be covering in this video. Heavy aquifers, I recommend just avoiding them entirely. All aquifers used to be heavy in aquifers which is why you might see memes on the internet about how you shouldn't settle on an aquifer at all. Light aquifers aren't so bad, they're just a little bit finicky to get through. Once you're through them, they're not all that bad. Now the reason you would want to have access to water underground without having to go to the surface, say you're in a haunted biome, or an agitated, uh, untamed wilds biome, or somewhere where you're going to get attacked a lot frequently, and maybe you have injuries, and you need to make sure that your dwarves have access to clean water. This is a very easy way to have clean water underground without having to go somewhere, or dig up to the surface, or channel down through a creek, or something that would require you spending a lot of time on the surface if the surface is dangerous for some reason. So, uh, we're going to be settling in the wilderness right around here, and once I have my fort kind of set up and ready, uh, we are going to continue the video, so hang tight. So now that we're settled, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to chop down some trees and just get access to a little bit of wood. So I'm going to zoom out real quick and we're going to just cut down some of these. You can use wood or stone, it doesn't actually matter all that much, or you could theoretically bring blocks or do something silly if you really want to do that. Now we do have a light aquifer on this map, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the stair tool and we're going to start digging down. I'm going to dig a four, a 2x2 two two staircase, you can also do this with 1x1. One one. We're just going to go down two layers, right? Now we're, what we're going to do this is just a cup. We're going to do this just a couple layers at a time. So our dwarves are going to cut through that dirt. They're going to cut through that dirt. And as soon as we hit water, we're going to start seeing it. So we're going to go down another two. We're going to start up on the current layer and go down because apparently I messed that up the first time. Let's go down. We're just going to go down until we hit to the until we collide with the aquifer, and there it is. So now we're going to go beneath this and make sure that we delete these stairs. And now the way that we're going to do this is we're going to start on the layer that we're on currently, right? We're going to dig down into the aquifer. We're going to start digging, and as soon as they are finished digging out these four tiles, I'm then going to dig around these four tiles. So the game is now kind of upset with me because I'm trying to dig into the aquifer, and it's going, no, you don't want to do that. You really, really, really don't want to do that. We're going to dig through. We're going to go into the aquifer. Now, as you can see, we've got this damp loam wall. We'll know that we're through the aquifer once this dampness disappears and once we hit stone. So we're going to dig through the damp loam wall, and it's going to start filling up. It's going to start dribbling. It's going to start dribbling. It's going to start dribbling. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to back out of that, and we're going to grab these walls, and we're going to construct just using the hazelnut. We could actually just... I might just use the uh, grab closest material and just keep things quick. We're going to go all the way around, and if they cancel one of them, that is fine. So we're just going to dig in a circle around that. And the dwarves are kind of going to come down as quickly as, can as they can. The cats are helping too. How kind of them. And they're going to finish this all the way up. Done. Sweet. So now that's one layer done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to dig another layer down from the layer that we were on previously. Now we're going to sit here and we're going to wait. And give them a second. Here they come. Popping down. Pause. And then we're going to open up the, like, the, the, the dig menu again. We're going to take a look, and uh, looks like we're through it. That was actually a really small one. It was just the one layer. So now I think we can just dig down. Let's try that. Now, if they cancel it, we know that uh, there's more aquifer. Nope, that's all of it. And that is how you dig through a light aquifer. Now, just because we're on a map now with an aquifer, it's worth noting that I, and something that's really useful about aquifers is we can just dig over here from this layer. Now, from the top, we could, like, fill this up. We could put hatch covers on top of it. We could defend it quite easily that way. But now that we can just dig over here to the left, we can, uh, once they come and do it, actually, because uh, they're still digging down, of course. Oh, it looks like we've got some some rock salt. That's lovely. We're going to scroll back up. Now you see they've dug this out. We could actually channel down right here. Over. Uh, ramp down. No, that's ramp up. Jeez. For some reason, I always click on the wrong button when I'm look when I'm not looking at what I'm doing. Funny how that is. All right. So now here you can see this little open area. I'm just like a little do it, dig around it real quick. Remember that well tutorial I put up a little while ago? You could just build a well on a well on top of that and have absolutely no issue. Dwarves will use that as a well and they'll be super happy with it. Uh, it'll fill up with water in no time, and then you'll have a nice, clean, fresh, infinite water supply. It'll take a little bit to fill up, but uh, these smaller uh, light aquifers will fill it up 
eventually. Uh, they're also quite useful if you channel up into them from underneath these light aquifers because they will sp send down little sp sprays of water and dwarves love being misted by sprays of water. So that is a very quick tutorial on how to dig through a light aquifer. As for heavy aquifers, th that requires building pumps and some actual black magic fuckery to really kind of get through them safely. I hope that you've been enjoying these videos. Everybody's had nothing but nice things to say about them. So I just wanted to say thank you for watching these videos and I hope that you enjoyed them. Uh, and uh, I'm going to keep making them because there's more things to show and there's more things to talk about. So more stuff to come. And uh, thank you to those of you who have tuned into the streams and everybody who's jumped onto the Patreon. Massive shout outs. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.